Um, today we're at uh, Wembley and we are going to a project in Lambeth and then we're off to 10 Downing Street. We are all looking forward to the last pedal on those bikes. Uh, there were many things. I think we, we've done it together with Daily. We help each other. We have a great team uh, behind us. Uh, everybody has been working very, very hard. There was a lot of passion in what we do. Uh, so hopefully we will do it again. Uh, I don't know. We need to recover, but we will, we will be back. <laughs> You know, he was the ultimate hero. He won that decathlon, two gold medals, two Olympic Games in a row. I can remember watching it and just awe-inspiring performance. And it's great to see someone like that who doesn't just rest on his laurels and think, well, I've done my bit. He's putting his effort and his time into being a great role model, a great icon for kids and getting them all involved in sport and raising money for this very good cause at the same time. So I say, Daily, well done, good on you. Look, one of the oldest sayings in the world is the devil makes work for idle hands. And it's true. And this is a great programme because it's getting kids off some pretty tough estates from some occasionally pretty tough backgrounds. And it's got a great record of not just getting people into sport, but diverting them away from crime and also getting them trainings, training and qualifications, maybe to go on and be a coach, maybe to go on and enter an amateur boxing club. And the enthusiasm of the young people here today was just incredible. And so it was great to see. The boxing I saw downstairs was a case in point. People are looking about what great Olympic boxers achieved in the past. They're thinking that could be me, and they're getting involved in the sport. That's what this should be about. We're at 10 Downing Street, and uh, we presented our report to the Prime Minister. He already knew a bit about it, and uh, I think he understands where we're coming from. I think that even if it's just as basic as it costs less to fund some of our projects than it will to send kids to prison, and all the police time that it costs and clogging up the criminal justice system. I think that, uh, you know, even that, that very, as basic as that, I think that, you know, he realises that, you know, what we're doing is, is a good idea. There are a bunch of kids out there who, who are an underclass and don't have much of a connection with the community or, or with society. A lot of them would respond to the opportunity of, of playing sports and mostly because they feel that you know being in a gang is a bit like being on a sports team you know you you feel protection from from the group it's kind of glamorous you you know it, a lot of your peers are in it but what sport also gives you is the is the positive aspects of sportsmanship and leadership and and learning you know how to focus and you know and being a nice guy <laughs>